GCSE Geography, Polar and Tundra Environments. In today's learning objectives, we're going to learn the characteristics of polar and tundra environments and adaptations of plants and animals in polar and tundra environments. So when we're talking about characteristics, that means the climate, soil, plants, animals and people. So polar. It's the climate is very cold, below freezing, and winters tend to drop to minus 40 degrees and can reach minus 90 degrees Celsius. Ice sheets cover polar areas, so no soil is exposed. There are few plants, such as lichens and mosses, which grow on rocks and grasses at the coast. Animals include polar bears, penguins, whales and seals and it's mostly uninhabited, but the Arctic does have some indigenous and a few scientists in Antarctica. Tundra. So tundra is slightly warmer. It can reach up to 10 degrees Celsius. The soil is thin and acidic and not very fertile. There are hardly any shrubs, grasses or mosses and lichens are common. In terms of animals, there's lemmings, wolves and reindeer, and they're home to many indigenous people, such as, as well as oil and gas workers in larger towns. And in terms of both of them, they both have low precipitation, well-defined seasons, both have a layer of permafrost holding trapped gases, and both have most growth occur during the short warm period, and overall they're relatively few animals. Let's look at plant adaptations. So I'm going to give you the example of cotton grass, which is an example of a plant able to survive in these conditions. The features which make it able to survive are it's low lying, which the snow covers in winter to help insulate. They have seeds that scatter in the wind. They have narrow leaves helping to reduce transpiration and water loss. Adapt they're adapted to a short growing season, so have a short life cycle, and they have dense flower heads reducing heat loss. Also darker leaves which help absorb energy from the sun. Animal adaptations, the classic polar bear. So they have a white appearance which acts as camouflage from prey on the snow and ice. They have a thick layer of fat and fur for insulation against the cold. They have a small surface area to volume ratio to minimise heat loss and they have a greasy coat that sheds water after swimming to help reduce heat loss. They also have large feet which help to distribute their load and increase grip on the ice. For more videos on GCSE English, RS and Geography, make sure you subscribe to Noble for GCSE. Thank you for watching till the end and see you soon.